Disturbing news breaking overnight. Dave Chappelle, the comedian, attacked while performing on stage by a suspect reportedly armed with a knife. And there's another report, a gun. All right, it looks like a violent encounter happened at the famed Hollywood Bowl. That's in L.A. And Carly Shimkus has been following this all morning. And yes. she joins us now. Carly. A wild story here. Good morning to you. Dramatic video showing the aftermath of the violent encounter involving Dave Chappelle overnight at the Hollywood Bowl. According to local media, the person you see here being taken into custody was reportedly armed with a weapon that can eject a knife blade. A P uh, video shows Chappelle falling to the ground before before the attacker was tackled by security. Jamie Foxx also reportedly running on stage to help detain that attacker. The Los Angeles Police Department did respond. Video shows him being put into an ambulance on a stretcher. Cameras were rolling as it was being taped for an upcoming Netflix special, but audience members were not allowed to, uh, to have phones during that show. Now, following the onstage hit, Chris Rock, who is no stranger to onstage attacks, gave Chappelle a hug, then joked with the audience Will, was that you? Nobody can forget the moment Will Smith got on stage during the Oscars slapping rock after a joke about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Will Smith later apologized for that incident. Now, it's not clear what provoked the person to attack Dave Chappelle and what charges may be filed, but a really scary situation, guys. For Chappelle overnight. You know, and, and Carly, I'm looking at uh, at TMZ. They've got exclusive details. It says that apparently uh, the guy ran up to the stage uh, with a gun. Uh, apparently, it was not a real gun. It was a replica gun. But nonetheless, you know, you run up to J Dave Chappelle with a gun. I know. It's no joke. Happen. Yeah. And then there are also reports that say it was a replica gun, looked like a gun, but if triggered the pr proper way, it could eject a knife blade. Oh. Still a weapon. Crazy. Very dangerous situation. Right. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Carly. And think well. about this. Um, you know, if it happens to Dave Chappelle in uh, a Netflix special, the top comedian in the world, perhaps, or the top three, uh, and a Netflix special, you got to think there's security, there's testing, there's everything. What chance do you have in a small club in the Midwest yeah, somewhere where true. somebody wants to, oh, I don't like that joke, and, you know, it turns out, I have a gun with me. That's yeah. true, because Dave Chappelle, he's so big. They prepared for this after the Oscars. I think all these comedians are preparing for it, and they're getting a lot of security. And he called for on stage. He said, I need security. And they were tussling, allegedly, on stage. Uh, they weren't allowed to This audience couldn't take cell phones in, so there's very limited video. But it, maybe we'll see it on Netflix, because they were filming uh, Chappelle and Friends is the name of his comedy show, mm. and the Netflix uh, special is going to be Is a Joke. Fast. It sounds like the the person who jumped up on stage uh, was we saw the ambulance that he was taken off mm -hmm. in. It sounds like his arm or arms or hands were yes. badly damaged yeah. uh, in what the a, takedown. When what Jamie Foxx jumped up there and defended Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle had to defend himself too. Mm -hmm. So somehow in the mix, this guy's arm was yeah. was damaged. Jamie Foxx says, "After the man is an absolute genius, we got to make sure we protect him at all times. Mm -hmm. For every comedian, this comes uh, uh, comes out here, man. This means everything. You're a genius. You're a legend." I've been doing this for 35 years. Uh, Dave Chappelle went on to say, I just stomped a, uh, a blank uh, backstage. I've always wanted to do that. But it's trying to put a happy face on an ugly situation. Well, Dave Chappelle um, has caused some controversy with the trans community. But if you listen to his show, he makes fun of every group. He just makes jokes. And he says outrageous things. And he's a free speech guy. And the point is, he's a comedian. If comedians can't, I know. can't say outlandish things, then who right. can? Well, the guy's been arrested. We're going to find out his name very shortly and tr probably figure out what his motivation was for doing that last night. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.